Hey guys, I'm back with episode 8 of Elite Arc Season 8. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how we capped our turrets at our main base. I'm talking like maybe 500 turrets in about 6 hours. Now keep in mind this is a boosted 25x server, but the farming methods are the same on official. So first off, we farm our charcoal by taking a theory to the swamp biome on Valgaro. Any swamp biome will do really, and you will get so much wood there with the power theory in literally a couple of minutes. Next is uh, metal and stone, which I farm on Aberration. The blue zone is of course the most OP metal farm in the game, and everybody knows that, so to keep us safe and stay out of everyone's way, uh, we farm on the surface. Every single rock on the surface is a metal node. Uh, it's an easy way to farm some metal safely because you will rarely find anybody else up here. Uh, make sure to bring a megalo or a mana to kill the reapers when they come and to keep an eye on the time of day. Bring up the extended HUD and make sure to be off the surface before 6am at the absolute latest. Now this is generally easier with two people, but it can be done with one person as you see me doing here. You just need to jump off the Magmasaur and onto your DPS dino to deal with the threat. I'm not going to lie though, I have lost some Magmasaurs up here, so if you're new to the game, I would definitely bring a second person. Driven to deep left field and caught. Bada boom, bada bing, bow cash, bow bling. Go ahead, make it ring, 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 ring. Told the thought he'd bring a thing, 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 thing. Whole squad need chains and rings. Loud smoke, some amazing things. Yeah, rip it open and I run in the knee. Miss copping on it, even if I don't need it. Bands on me, left the cash is beaches. Thank God, thank God, thank you. And real friends, you don't know the meaning. Get on Just thought I would include this next clip of uh, me getting a little tilted on a $60 game moment. Boys came on to help me keep farming metal, and the sun was about to come up after a very nice long farm with two Magnosaurs, and the game teleports me way back out into the middle of the surface zone. So now I'm freaking out, thinking I'm about to lose all my metal and dinos and stuff. Uh, these kind of glitches are super common in Ark, no matter what server you're playing on, but it's still something you just never get used to. 342. Oh, I just got a huge leg spike, what the fuck, oh my god, where am I, am I all the way back here, where the fuck is the base, oh my god, it teleported me all the way out here, where, oh shit, I don't actually don't know where, I don't know where the, ma oh, fuck dude, I'm gonna die, there we go. Okay, pick me up. Pick me up. Get me out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, you just pick me. You just pick me. You just pick me. Okay, let's go. Go. Grab. No, grab the fucking. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh my god. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. Okay, okay, let's go. Let's go. What what is going off? Okay, let's let's go. Move. Holy shit, man. Yeah, they're so stressful. Okay, we're here. We're here. Yeah. Oh man, it just teleports me back into the middle of the fucking... Oh, this game. This game. Uh, you can pull the... Uh, there's a... Then of course, to get our slot caps of flint, we take a mantis with a cap pickaxe to scorched earth. Where you literally just walk around and mindlessly click and you will get so much flint it's insane. 
And that's how you farm up ARB like a boss. We capped all our heavies very quickly by farming this way. Now on to some fun stuff. Extinction element veins. Do we have, um, you guys have a transmitter here? Yeah. I spit raps like a heart attack, fast fatal heart impact, past painful scars, in fact I blast tasteful thoughts and past I back up my actions, back don't ask, grab reactions, jack attack with every word, then act with class as they hear me snap, I got nothing to lose, cause I fought and felt the bruise, now I'm not the one confused, call the shots and they produce, I ain't lost, I'm finally loose, pick a new silver excuse, I need the views to boost me to a new abuse of being used, everybody wants a piece now, y'all can rest in peace, now you're dead to me so peace out, remember you're discreet now. Get ready for defeat now I'm gonna make you bleed out Listen on repeat now And weed out all the weak now Get up and make a change Don't remember yesterday If you got something to say Speak your mind before your grave Cause your life is yours to save Ain't nobody gonna change Everybody stays the same So be different, make and a name, like huh? A soldier, I keep on moving forward Always getting closer Marching till it's over well, they're, they're like corrupted by it, I'm pretty sure. Oh shit, I got picked by a bloodstalker. Oh, it's fucking GT! I'm spitting this meticulous and limitless While others out there spitting shit Got hits up on the charts and sit Now we generally use manas to deal with the PvE aspect Because of their breath attack, it doesn't damage the vein uh, Wyverns also work if you don't have a mana And then we pop our gigas as well just in case anybody tries to counter us and as far as I know, the best way to farm the vein itself is with the Mantis's right click attack and the best pickaxe that you got. Now it's very easy to get a ton of element this way, you just gotta watch out for other players. Always getting closer Marching till it's over And just like a soldier I keep on moving forward Always getting closer Marching till it's over And just like a soldier I keep on moving forward Always getting closer Marching till it's over Could someone punch me towards the transmitter? I'm too far and I'm overweight. Uh, I just turned all my elements into super. Bowl. Just punch me? Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Thank you. <laughs> One, just, just making sure, just making sure. <laughs> Oh, I found a vein. It is. Oh, there's two right beside each other. So one of them's got to be a 50.
So we were being scouted this whole vein by a mana guy and he brings his tribe over to try and hit us and steal our elements. Uh, is that you fighting him? Yeah, I see you, I see you, I'm coming. Drop, drop the mat to just get the big one. Okay, here we go. You guys ready to protect my ass? Yeah. Face, face. Yep. You guys ready? Yep. I'll wait for my cryo sickness to go away. Okay, protect me, bros. Check me, okay good. It's okay, just let me No 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 don't don't go over there. Leave protect me here. I have the element. Hold on. I can upload it all in a second. Hold on. Shit, 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 shit. Shit. Shit, I'm dead. Yep, I got the 1,051 1, element uploaded from that one. Alright guys, so that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, a little more chill of an episode, but there's plenty of raid footage to come. Don't worry. Uh, like I've said before, I'm trying to capture every aspect of the tribe's progression. And uh, farming for ARB and element is just something that you will always find yourself doing in this game. So there you have it. That's how we capped our 500 turret main base in six hours. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content because it really helped to keep me going and grow my channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.